Hey everybody, I'm Amy Bachman from Amy Bachman Sew and Quilt, and I am so excited I cannot stand myself. You know I'm a huge Scan and Cut fan. Well, things just got better with the new update. Now the files on your sewing machine can be sent to the Scan and Cut after you tell it what you want it to cut. It can't be any easier. Let me walk you through how super easy it is because you're going to want to have this dynamic duo in your sewing room. Alright, the most exciting duo in the entire planet when it comes to machine embroidery and applique. We know Brother makes the best machines on the planet and we love our scanning cuts to death. But who knew that they would be able to talk to each other and save us tons of time. So if you have a Brother Dream Machine, a Dream Maker, a Dream Weaver, if you have an embroidery edit on your Brother and you can change the applique um, function around your trace and add an applique cut file, you are a smooth sailing. So what I've done, I've brought in this beautiful Anita Good design, and I will tell you it doesn't matter whose applique. If you've downloaded a free design, if you've bought a purchase design, it all works the same. So I'm going to open my edit screen, and I'm going to choose my colors. Now, it doesn't matter what color this is. This is the original trace that we all know that is the guideline of where to lay our big chunk of fabric that we traditionally use for applique, where we have to remove the hoop and trim. We are now skipping all those steps. So what I'm going to do, the very bottom of the screen, there is this tiniest little icon in orange that is a pair of scissors and a straight line. I'm going to select that. And what it did is it added applique material to that shape. That's all I need to do. And I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to continue into my embroidery screen. And I'm going to save it in my memory. And I'm going to save it right on my USB stick that I have in the machine. Now here's the cool part. I'm going to go ahead and stitch out my trace. But I'm going to take my USB stick out. And now we're going to the scan and cut. And I'm going to slide my USB right into the port on the side. And now I'm going to go to Pattern, I'm going to go to Save Data, and I'm going to go to my USB stick, and we're going to go to this little B pocket. That's what um, the, the sewing machine creates to hold these designs in. And you can see it's PHC is now the extension. That's because we saved it from our sewing machine. So I'm going to open my Scan and Cut, I'm going to open my file, and there's my teapot. And I'm going to say OK. And there's my outline. That's what I want to cut. So I select the piece. I say OK. And here's the exact size. Now a little bit about the size, here's a hint. I like to make my size a little bit bigger. So I'm going to set it. I'm going to go to Edit. And I'm going to go to Size. And it's proportional, so I'll have to touch one button. I make it like two um, or three pluses bigger. And I'm going to say OK. OK and I'm going to go to OK, and now I'm going to go to Cut, and now we're going to watch it cut out. And this is where the magic happens, right here. There is my beautiful teapot. And now when I come over here, after I do my first trace of embroidery, I can see it perfectly fits over my stitching line. My stitching line, see how it's just a hair bigger, just enough. And this is what I like to do, and there's going to be a lot of people who maybe disagree with me about removing the hoop once you're in applique. But the way the brother embroidery arm is so steady, I just put my hoop down with my steady bedding underneath, and I take my little palm iron that I absolutely love, and I just give it a quick tack. I don't have to iron it all the way through. My fabric has been prepped with fusible web. So now what's going to happen, it's not going to lift off of my embroidery when it's finishing doing the embroidery designs. It doesn't have to be fully tacked down, just enough. So now I'm going to slide this in. The next step from my embroidery is going to be my tack down stitch.
See, it's just catching it enough. Now, I know that's all going to be covered under the satin stitch. I could have gone even a little bigger, but this is how amazing it is that now that um, your top-of-the-line brother sewing machines that have the edit capability to add the edit file can now create simple, simple ways to cut out our appliques with our scan and cut. So they're the perfect pair. So I don't know why if you have a scan and cut, you wouldn't buy a new machine. And I don't know why if you have a machine, you wouldn't own a scan and cut because embroidery has now never been any easier.